I used a hair dryer to create this. everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. If you're new, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So I created a fluid pour with my hair dryer. This is the before and this is the after. I also enhanced it. I've got commentary throughout and I've got up close pictures. Sit back, listen to the beautiful music and enjoy. Okay, and here is the canvas. It is a 24 inch by 40 inch gallery wrapped canvas and the 40 inches is wide that is 60 centimeters by 101 centimeters and gallery wrap just means that it's thicker all the way around which means you can just wire it and hang it you don't have to put a frame on it unless you want to okay and i just quickly wanted to show you the colors i've got a plain white which is just artist loft uh, mixed with two parts flow trowel and one part paint that was left over this is also a uh, burnt sienna, two parts um, flow trial, always two parts flow trial, one part paint. This is a burnt umber that I put some white into it. So that's why it looks kind of really nice, light, light brown color. And a Mars black. You can see the consistency there. And a grayish blue beautiful color it kind of looks like a little bit purplish to me and a sky blue light now i'm going to do the swipe with these but this time i've usually done the swipes going down i'm going to do the swipes going across so i'm going to have one here and one around here somewhere and then water going in between so wish me luck I've kind of gotten addicted to swiping. It is so much fun and you get these gorgeous patterns. It is so beautiful. And um, sometimes I do swipe between each swipe or clean, I should say, between each swipe. And sometimes not, you get different effects that way. So you should try out which one you like. This bit of black really helps to ground that cliff. I like the water that I create to have a lot of movement, so I do blow dry in different directions to achieve that. up close on my side and I think I've got some beautiful beautiful things to work with when I enhance this love this water look lots of bubbles lots of movement and uh, this is fabulous as well I'm gonna add a bunch of trees I think give it some interest so uh, it's gonna look different and some of these areas will get covered up, but it's looking beautiful right now. So I'm gonna let this dry and a uh, couple of days and um, I will let you know how long, but uh, usually a couple of days. And, um, and then I'll start enhancing it. So I'll see you back here in just one second. So it's been two days and it is finally dried and I do love the way it looks. 
Off camera, I did add this extra dark part on top of this uh, area here. I felt that it needed it. And I've got some really beautiful details here to work with. And I just love the way this looks. So I'm gonna start enhancing it right now. I use a sponge to create the sky and uh, one of these days I'm going to do a video just on that to show you exactly how what I do. I like to use a variety of brushes to achieve different effects and the fan brush really helps uh, to give a lot of texture. I had the idea of having these trees lined up against the bank there, but it just wasn't working out. Thankfully with acrylic paint it is pretty easy to wipe off if you get it early enough. I kept working on this area for so long and uh, trying different things and nothing worked so I decided to change it. This was a bit risky to do but I am so glad that I did. Okay, so that only took a day to dry and I'm so happy I did decide to cover that area. It just wasn't working for me. I didn't like it and um, now it's way, way nicer, I think. So I'm going to be working on this and or continue to work on this uh, today. So this time I decided that some trees were in order, but in a different area and um, different sizes. And I am glad uh, that I did do that. It just adds a lot more interest there. I switched to my smallest fan brush to achieve these trees. There are various shapes of trees that you can create, but uh, in this case, I really like that you can see through the trees. So to balance the painting, I felt that the other side needed a couple trees as well.
I'm using yet again another type of brush, uh, more rounded. Uh, the bristles are open and um, it just gives you an easy way to do some highlights. This is by far my favorite brush. It really helps to achieve some beautiful effects in the water. I'm adding some light blue in this section because of the new pour had um, more light blue in it than this side and that's what I'm doing here. this up quite a few times kept working on it um, and that's what you should learn from this is that you know not to be afraid to change things up keep working until you see something you really love details that make the painting so much more interesting. It had to be you, it had to be you, I wandered around and finally found the somebody who could make me be true, could make me be blue, and even be glad just to be sad thinking of you if you're wondering that was me singing I love painting rocks and uh, they're fairly easy if you keep this in mind. Make sure that you have a different tones uh, throughout the rock. So you don't want the same color throughout, it's just not going to look right. I'm adding some copper here because the other cliff had some and boy did it make a big difference. The copper that was here already was diluted so I'm dipping my brush right in the metallic copper pot and adding some of those highlights and you can see the difference there. It really enriched it. Went back to the sky, wasn't too happy with this section and uh, worked on it until I was. <laughs>
By adding this highlight here, it really emphasizes the direction the water is going. This is another little nice trick. Just get an old toothbrush and flick away and you get these great water spots. And here's the painting all done. I am super, super happy with it. Loving the way it turned out. Look at the details. Those are the splashes that I, I created by using the old toothbrush. And there's some on this side as well. So it's just an easy way to do that. Love, love the details. The trees look fabulous. Just overall, very happy with it. I do have some up close images coming up, so stay tuned for that. Click on the link you see now if you want to see more of my enhanced pores. So this is how the fluid pour looked before I enhanced it. And this is after I enhanced it. I have all the colors I used in the description area below. Check out my new Facebook group called Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.